Hello, my name is Chris, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create document templates in Tenant Cloud. This is applicable for lease documents as well as notices. To get started, go up to the upper right corner and select the gear wheel icon. Scroll to the section titled Document Templates and select My Templates. From here, you'll see the option to create a new template. Select that and we'll get started. From here, you'll see the option to either upload a PDF and or copy and paste a document to create it. In this case, we're going to do the copy and paste. However, if you are on the growth plan or higher, you do have the option to upload a PDF and edit it that way. We're going to do copy and paste, so we'll click here to get started. From here, we're going to enter the title. From here, we're going to select the template type. You'll see that there are three types of documents, a tenant agreement, a tenant notice, or you can send an owner agreement for an owner to e-sign the rental management agreement that they are going to sign with you for you to manage their rental property on their behalf. In this case, we're gonna go ahead and select tenant notice. We'll select continue. And from here, it brings us into the template editor. There are three core sections of this page. The first one being the text field. So if this was a notice to notify the tenant that their rent is late, for example, we could type that in here. As you can see, I've typed in, hello, your rent is past due in the amount of. The way that we automate this is by going over to the autofill element tags and we can search for the autofill element that we want to drag in. Now that we've pulled in the autofill element tags, it's going to automatically pull in the information associated with the tag. For example, this letter is going to read, hello, Mark, your outstanding rent is past due in the amount of $375. And it's because it's going to autofill this information in from the tenant's account. From here, if we want the tenant to have to e-sign this notice once they receive it, we can put that information in here. We can also require initial fields and signature fields and date signed fields in the event that we are going to send this to the tenant for e-signature at any point through TC Messenger. Once we're happy with the results of the document that we have created, simply select continue. If there are any related materials to be added, such as attachments, simply select yes, and you can go ahead and upload those here, or we'll select no and move to the next question. Do you want to add default signatures to this notice while sending to sign? In this case, if we had not assigned a signature field or initial field, we could select yes to apply the default signature fields. However, since we already added those, we'll select no. Select create template. Congratulations, you have created your first tenant notice template. You now have the option to go back to the dashboard or to view the template. Here is a sample of the template, and that is how easy it is to create a document template on Tenant Cloud. To get started, you can start your free trial today at tenantcloud.com and click sign up.